Somewhere in the middle of Malta you'll find Mosta. The name means the central place. Like so many places in Malta, Mosta is steeped in history, but the big attraction for many people is the rotunda. Arriving outside the rotunda in Mosta, you could be seduced into thinking that this church is a somewhat ornate building whose main feature is its unsupported dome. That is to say, it's all about the architecture. But walk inside and you find it's so much more. Before going inside, pause to look at the clock on the left side of the rotunda. There is a bell tower with a clock showing the month and the day, while the right bell tower has a clock with the current time. This seems to be a popular feature of churches in Malta. Enter the rotunda and your senses may be overwhelmed by the tsunami of images. Religious artifacts, paintings, statues, the altar, wall decorations, and so much more, it's hard to focus. Perhaps the best thing you can do is to sit quietly and slowly absorb some of what you see. Watching, we see the hubbub of the church as really two activities. There is the throng of visitors, constantly reinforced, as one coach after another deposits people at the rotunda. But there is also an undercurrent. Members of the congregation are preparing for the Good Friday procession and we see a curious thing. Several women are setting up flowers in various positions around the church. Each woman works individually clearly focused on her task. At the same time a group of men are attaching a display to one of the statues. For some reason it takes four men to work on the problem. One man is manipulating the decoration and three others are discussing the issue. This is a good day to visit the rotunda. The statues for Good Friday's Passion Procession are on display. Even if you are not of the Catholic faith, it would be hard not to be moved by the pain and suffering these images portray. Sitting quietly, the tsunami subsides and it becomes easier to pick out vignettes around the church. Two priests are hearing confession at one side of the church. Close by each priest, a line of people wait while one person sits next to the priest in the full openness of the church making their confession. This seems to me to be a vulnerable act and perhaps appropriate when surrounded by the statues of the Passion. As all the activity around you subsides out of view, you can begin to absorb the underlying architecture that makes this rotunda so impressive. The surrounding gallery appears simplistic compared with the lower part of the church, and yet its simplicity gives it an elegant beauty, especially when it's crowned by the unsupported dome. Finally, there's some history to investigate. Why a bomb on display in the church? During the intense blitz, to which Malta was subjected in World War II, a bomb fell into the rotunda but failed to explode. What is truly amazing is that there were some 300 people in the church at the time the bomb hit, but no one was hurt by the resulting debris as the bomb penetrated the church. Finally, a little surprise. Not being a student of architecture, Nonetheless aware of the deep history that exists in Malta, I wondered about the age of the rotunda. It turned out the church was consecrated in October 1871, making it less than 150 years old, a youngster in Maltese terms. <laughs>